Hello everybody. Let me swing you around. Hey, it's Chuck. Thanks for stopping by the shop for another uh, quick Screwy Tuesday. And uh, wish uh, everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Uh, it's also my son's birthday, Timmy, who's in the hospital. Um, I've been uh, notifying people, uh, friends on Facebook. He's still in there. He's been in there, uh, it was a week ago Friday, so Friday, uh, he's on 10 days now. And uh, we're on the mend and hopefully he'll be home soon. But uh, it's a quick video tonight and uh, we're over here back by my bandsaw. And I'm going to flip this around, horizontal bandsaw, and show you a couple of things. Um, what do I do with it? My bad, sorry about that. So this is a, uh, a piece that I'd made some time ago for my bandsaw when I needed to cut something that would not fit in the, in the slide vise here. So this guy would sit in here, there's a fence. And so uh, let me grab something around. Uh, unprepared. Sorry about that again, unprepared. So a little round disc like that could sit on there, use regular mill clamps to hold down, and you could slice off just a little edge if you wanted to. No way to hold it in the vise. So that's one item I had. I've shown a video on that before. I think it's, it's in a quickie video. And this was another, another item that I had, that same similar situation where if I wanted to hold something small, I could hold it in the vise and I could go ahead and cut it off and this would clamp on it. Both have worked really well for me. Well, my buddy Carl came over the other day and he said, I need to cut a piece on your saw. It's too large for mine. And uh, I said, sure, not a problem, bring it over. And uh, hang on, I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll be right back because I'm still unprepared. Well, what Carl brought over was not going to fit, well, it, take it back, it would fit on this, but of course it would be cantilevering way, way over here. Could have made it work, shim it up. Well, then I looked and I remembered I had this plate. And I don't know if it'll show up, but I actually did a circle grind on it where you just use the mag and let it, uh, let it uh, residual magnetism hold it. But uh, this plate also fits into my saw. And it's, uh, what is it, 9x9, nine nine. and uh, I have some photos here. I thought I had a video, but I got some photos here of the setup and how we cut this large piece of cast iron for Carl. It was 8 inches by roughly 4 inches, and you needed to do a couple of slices on it. So with that said, uh, that's it for today's video. You're going to see some photos, and then the uh, last photo you're going to see is uh hey uh bailey may have a, a couch in the shop but uh hey bailey if you're watching take a look at howie how he sneaks into my bed after i get up and get out my wife makes it and then he remakes it for himself okay guys some photos and uh we'll see you next tuesday hopefully And I saw saw this right here, frog lube. A little sample that uh, when I was over at uh, Tom Lipton's, he gave me a couple of these. Well, the other day I picked up this package. Uh, it's frog lube, and it's impregnated wipes that have the product in it. You can see the frog lube is. Uh, you can see it there. It's kind of a paste that that uh, melts real quick. Well. I didn't want to get a liquid, but uh, with the wipes, hit the camera, 
with the wipes you can just wipe down surfaces like this and protect them for storage. Um, the other day I came back here in the shop and uh, my three, uh, my six jaw and my monarch lathe had got a nice rust sheen. I think I'll see if I can uh, show you the photo of that. And then it cleaned up. But anyway, thought I'd show that to you. Nice little uh, simple way to, to get something protected and it can go back into storage. Okay, it's Valentine's Day. So let's ask the screwy ball. Will Charlie here get lucky? Can I get lucky tonight, screwy ball? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Yes, definitely. All right, guys. See you later.